Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with Make It Rad. Back again with a little bit more Tundra content for you. So I wanted to touch on um, some of the most often asked questions I get on this, which is what suspension do you have on it? And I touched on this a little bit in my intro video, um, but thought I'd just do a quick video on the suspension setup. This started life as a Platinum, as I mentioned, and I bought it knowing that I was going to put some suspension on it. So this has, um, and this will be sort of a review of what it has, this has the Elka Dual Compression Adjustment 2.5 coilover kit in the front, and the same 2.5 shocks in the back, obviously still leaf springs back there, no coils, no coilovers in the back. Um, Researched a lot when I went with this suspension. Um, looked at a lot of the Icons, Fox, um, a lot of different combinations. A few of the reasons that I went with the Elkas are um, obviously 2.5. I also looked at the um, OME BP51, but I really wanted something in the 2.5 range. Nothing quite as crazy as like the 3.0s that you can get now from um, other manufacturers. I use this for recreation, gravel roads, exploring around, you know, just sort of everyday driver and obviously um, on the street as well. So I um, wanted to find something that would work well for me for those uses. Um, and this is probably more than I need. Um, I'll, it's a bit sunny today and I'll try to get some more detailed shots of the actual suspension, but these are the dual compression adjustment. And that's an important thing to, to point out. Um, with the dual compression, you get both high speed and low speed compression adjustment. And the low speed compression adjustment is super handy for uh, like when you have a trailer on the back and you want to stiffen up the rear shocks to avoid like porpoising when you go over bumps with like load transfer. Or if you are merging onto a highway and you're in a corner and you're, you know, getting on the throttle, but you're also going around a corner, it controls that body roll quite a bit. So that's all low speed compression adjustment. And then they also have high speed compression adjustment, which is like if you're bombing down the road and you <laughs> maybe see a speed bump that you didn't know was there, that's your high speed. That's when the wheel, wheel's moving super quick. Or if you're going off a jump and you're landing a jump, that's high speed compression. So it, these allow you to adjust that independently. And that is super handy. So when I got these, they were custom valve for the Tundra. And I just went through and the only changes I've really made for the daily driving use is I've softened up the high speed. Um, that allows me to have a softer compression for those speed bumps and those types of things um, and yet still keep body roll to a minimum for like you know merging on the highways and things like that. Part of the reason I did that is I've put Toyo AT3s on here whereas these Tundras actually if you no factory, they come with like a P-rated tire that's a bit softer. Um, so these have a stiffer sidewall, and so I adjusted that by um, adjusting the high-speed compression on the Elka shocks. And that, that makes a good difference. It makes the ride actually really, really great with this. Um, and then the other adjustment that I make is when I'm towing, I actually bump up the low-speed compression in the back. And that really helps control the load of, well, I put about a thousand pounds <laughs> of weight on, on when I tow my travel trailer with the family in there. So I'll, I'll bump up the back um, like two or three notches on low speed compression and that makes a big difference. So um, out of the box, turn down the high speed two notches and then when I tow, I bump up the low speed in the back two notches to slow that down. So um, that works for me and that's why the dual compression is, is so important. I haven't adjusted, these do have rebound compression. I have not adjusted anything on the rebound. Um, the rebound has been great all around. So one of the features that really stuck out for me with the Elkas is the aluminum shock body. So a lot of manufacturers, they make great, great parts and I'm not um, here to say anything negative about those, but with the Elkas, they have aluminum shock bodies. And so that means that if you're going down the gravel road and they just happen to get chipped up, they're not gonna rust and you're not gonna be fighting a bunch of rust spots all over the shock body. Um, the other thing, and I'll try to get that in focus here, is they've, on the remote reservoirs, they've got these really cool billet type um, holders. A lot of the other suspension systems you see, it's just like a, like a hose clamp around those. These have uh, billet machined holders that really dress it up quite nicely. Um, you can see what I paired that with, which is the Dirt King upper control arms. I won't do a separate video on that. Um, basically, I chose the Dirt King because it has 
um, a ball joint up there. I didn't want a uniball. I didn't want the maintenance of a uniball. It's got the poly bushings back there and it adjusts the, it adjusts the, the suspension for the right lift height. So Elka makes these in a zero to two or a two to three um, setting. These are the two to three option. So you can get these in um, just standard compression rebound in zero to two or two to three. So these are the two to three dual compression suspension. Um, I'll give you a quick shot of the back here. I'll do some B-roll so you guys can kind of <laughs> get a better idea. It's a little bright out here today. Um, but you can see, you can see how that tucks real nice right up into the fender well there. Um, and then the rear are obviously shocks. And then that's paired with standard leaf springs. You can see my road active suspension. I'll do a separate video on that. That's basically what I put on here for the for towing for when I'm towing the travel trailer. Um, on the daily, it doesn't really make a huge difference on the the ride and handling. Um, what I'm not going to be able to get in the shot is this does have um, a one inch shackle in the back plus the road active. So you know it. Out of the box, the Elka doesn't really lift the back. It's just more of a level. It's set at 2.5 front and then it just has the shock for the back. So this is going to sit a little higher than it did when it just had um, the Elka shocks. But it does have the shackle in the back to give it one more inch. And that's the Max Track shackle. And the reason I like that is because you can just pop the factory shackle out and pop the new shackle in. You don't have to adjust any bushings or... Um, any of the other things take the bushings out of leaf springs have those pressed out or whatever you might need to do for that They just pop right in and pop right out. So um, makes the install super easy But I really like how it sits right now. Um, I liked how it sat before the Roadmaster active suspension brought brought the back end up about About half inch at the wheel well um, But I really like how it sits I can put the travel trailer on there and it doesn't squat too bad and this thing rides like a Cadillac like you can Turn the um, the high speed compression, low speed compression down. It'll just bounce around and be super soft if <laughs> if that's what you were into. But um, like I said, custom valve for the Tundra. This Elka suspension. Um, not a lot of people have it. I don't think. I think I you know I kind of like to do things a little bit unique. And um, this is probably one of my favorite. Well, it is my favorite mod to this Tundra. You know, obviously I've got some wheels and tires and a few other things. But this is really I think what sets it off. Um, if you have any questions, you like this content, please like and subscribe. I'm happy to do any more follow-up videos on anything I just glazed over. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, I'll be sure to respond to your comments, and if I need to do another video on it, I'll be happy to. Thanks so much, and enjoy. Peace.